Well, we're here with a young man who is really doing an amazing work in calling people to prayer and intercession. And his name is Jonathan Frizz. Hello, Jonathan. How are you today? Hi, Brant. Doing great. Well, it's so good to be with you. It really is a, a, a real pleasure. And I trust that you will be able to really help us understand some of the things that have been going on, particularly this week as people have been gathering in what is called the 10 days of prayer. I know we can't go into all of the details fully, but I would like for you to be able to just share a little bit with the folk about the genesis of the 10 days of prayer. So maybe just, just share that, would you? Really, it started for me in 2004. I had just graduated from college, and uh, the Lord just uh, kind of in a way I was not accustomed to spoke to me um, about um, calling his people to pray during the 10 days leading up to Pentecost and also in the 10 days from Rosh Hashanah to Yom Kippur. And uh, some of you may be familiar with the uh, 10 days of prayer that have been happening at Northfield for the last three years. And uh, this year, we just felt led to go in a different direction. Um, and uh, rather than doing it more in a retreat setting, we're actually getting to what I really feel is the heart of God's call um, for the 10 days of prayer which is we're going to be doing, um, we're doing it within a citywide church context. I just want to explain a little bit about what this means. Um, in the past, it's been in much more of a retreat context where we've been inviting people to come into it. And in this one, um, it's almost like um, we are, or I and others who are, who are partnering with me in a ministry we've called Wisdom Way are really just functioning more as catalysts um, of this vision and, uh, and we're seeing uh, the church in the city of Beverly and in the surrounding North Shore area really run with it, uh, which is an absolutely beautiful thing. It's, it's, uh, it's not even our thing anymore at all. It's really a partnership um, among local churches in the area, which is really, truly the heart, our heart for the 10 days of prayer and also, I think, God's heart for it. Well, you know, Jonathan, I was uh, able to slip in yesterday for a couple of the sessions of prayer, and I know for my own soul, it was just amazingly refreshing, particularly about that last 30 minutes where I don't know what God was doing. But it, was, <laughs> it was amazing. But it really was. It was really amazing what the Lord was doing in our midst. And um, I, perhaps you would just share uh, where you were meeting uh, during the day, and then also some of the things that are coming up in the evenings as well. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, during the day, we're meeting at Pilgrim Church in Beverly, which is at 302 Cabot Street, and we're meeting from 7 a.m. to uh, 5 p.m. There's a usually a one-hour break in there. Um, and in the, in the evenings, it's kind of the, the most exciting part to me. We're moving from church to church. And each, each church is hosting a different night. So there's actually 10 different locations um, where, where a meeting is being hosted by 10 different congregations. And then people from the other churches are coming to each of these gatherings. So you have a real mix of all the churches, or not all of, but many of the churches in the area uh, coming together and, and doing this even in 10 separate locations. Well, I know that God is really meeting you and the other pastors in the area and many other intercessors as well who have been really carrying this vision forward. Perhaps, Jonathan, we could just take a few minutes and uh, invite the people who are, are watching with us uh, here on the internet that uh, you would take and you would use this as an opportunity to be able to join us in prayer. And uh, Jonathan, I'm going to ask if you would just begin and lead us and then I'll, I'll interact with you as well. Father, we're just so uh, grateful, Lord, just for the work that you're doing, Lord. You are uh, creating partnerships, Lord, here on the North Shore. And your people are truly doing what you've asked us to do, Lord. We're, we're humbling ourselves, we're praying, we're seeking your face, Lord, and we're turning from our wicked ways together, Lord. And we just, we're just so full of faith, God, that you are pleased with this and that you are going to honor it, Lord. So, Father, we just ask... Lord, in your name, would you send your Holy Spirit, God? Would you send your Holy Spirit into Boston? Or would you send your Holy Spirit here on the North Shore and all through New England, God? Would you hear our prayers as we seek your face, Lord, with earnestness to earnestness? And Father, we do just ask and, 
and, and I'm going to ask the folk who are watching just, just to, in, instead of just watching, just to us. Mm. Father, we, we simply want to experience you. Mm. Yeah. We want more of your grace in this region. We know, Lord, that there is a wonderful outpouring that you are going to be bringing. Mm. We are praying into the revival that some of our friends have said, a revival that will never end. A revival that's going to come and going to stir the hearts of men and women until Jesus comes. Yes. And so, Father, we do ask, we just ask that your anointing, your presence, your power will come and just superintend these days that are being set apart and set aside to commune with you, to make a point of profound and even deep, deep unity and prayer by your Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Father, we just ask that, um, Lord, as these, as these days go on, Lord, that you would just move in increasing measure. We just ask that you bring your people together, Lord, Lord that people would be, more people would be coming in the days and in the nights, so that you'd be calling out to your body, Lord, in this day. Lord, we just thank you that you're a God who sees your church uh, geographically, Lord. You see us as belonging even in the land in which we dwell. Lord, we just thank you for the people of this land, Lord, here on the North Shore in Beverly and the surrounding areas, Lord, that they are truly coming together before you, Lord. And we ask that you'd visit this very land, God, that you would heal this land in response to our prayers. And Father, we're grateful for all of the things that you're doing, particularly in this younger generation. We ask, Lord, that you would cause a deep stirring among the young people, a real fire of revival. Lord, I, I am reminded so many times of how that you have worked with people who are young to actually set ablaze the power of God in revival. From Evan Roberts as about a 23-year-old young man to, to others who, who could be looked at, even those who walk with you, Jesus, on the earth, they set the, the whole region on its head. And Lord, we just pray that that will happen in a refreshing way here in our area as well. Brandon, if it's all right, I'd just like to share just a little bit more mm -hmm. about um, this really on my heart is uh, is just the way that um, these pastors have partnered together to do this. I just want to emphasize it's been such a beautiful journey. It's happened relationally as we've just built friendships with one another. Uh, there's just been an increasing level of trust as we've shared life together, just really just meeting once a month. And uh, I just feel like it's it's so significant what's happened where um, they are really taking the ownership of this 10-day prayer gathering. It really is something that corporately we're doing. And uh, I just think it's so appropriate. It's true that I personally and, and Wisdom Way, the group that I'm a part of, that we carry a burden for 10 days of prayer. But it's, it's also true that we don't carry that burden for ourselves. We carry that burden in order to share it with others so that they can really run with it, that we find our completion in, in one another. And likewise, they have things that they're carrying that we need desperately. So I just feel like it's such a beautiful example of the body of Christ working together where each part is supplying the grace that it's been given from above and each part is receiving grace from one another. And this is just a beautiful example of what I'd love to see more and more all throughout New England and really around the world. Well, just very quickly, Jonathan, because our time is limited, tell us the website where people can go to get the information to find out where these events are happening. Absolutely. The website is www.10daysnorthshore.com. Okay, you got it. And we just know that God is working in all of our hearts. He's building our friendships. He's building our relationships and he is building the kingdom of God. Mm. Until next time, this is Grant Gillespie and Jonathan Priz signing off. God bless you. <laughs>